after watching today's video lecture, you guys are going to be able to calculate more advanced calorimetry problems um, and specifically calculate the delta H of reactions. So in this problem here, we have 4.25 grams of solid sodium nitrate and it's dissolving into 60 grams of water that is in a coffee cup calorimeter. Um, the temperature drops from 22.0 to 16.0 degrees C. Um, and they want us to calculate the change in enthalpy. A few things we need to notice and a few assumptions that need to be made with these more advanced problems. Okay, so first of all, they told us that the solid ammonium nitrate dissolves in the water. Okay, so when we are calculating our problems, when we're doing our Q of solution and we're trying to get the information here, um, we need to have the mass of the solution, we need the specific heat capacity of the solution, and of course the delta T of the solution. Okay. Um, so in this case, uh, the solution, the mass of the solution is going to be um, the mass of the solid plus the mass of the H2O. Okay, so that's assumption number one. Um, because the solid dissolves into the water, it becomes part of the solution, so we take the mass of both. Um, assumption number two, because the solution is going to be really dilute, um, we are going to assume that the specific heat capacity is the same as if it was just pure water, so 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius. So that's another assumption um, that we're going to make for this type of problem. So we're going to go ahead and proceed as normal. So if we go ahead, um, we need our Q of solution. So um, our, our Q of solution, we have our variables. The mass of our solution is going to equal 4.25 grams which is the solid plus the 60.0 grams of water. Okay, I'm gonna show that work and give us 64.25 um, grams. Okay, um, we have our specific heat capacity of our solution, the 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius. Okay, and then of course we need to calculate our delta T of our solution. That's gonna be equal to our final, which is 16.0 degrees C minus 22.0 degrees C. And that's gonna give us negative 6.0 degrees C. We're then gonna take that value, those values and we're going to plug them into our Q of solution. So Q of solution is gonna equal uh, 64.25 grams times 4.184 joules per gram degrees Celsius times our negative 6.0 degrees C. Okay, uh, we plug this into our calculator. That's gonna go ahead and give us negative 612.93. Okay, um, and we have two sig figs, so we're gonna mark that. We're gonna have joules as our units. Okay, now um, this is Q of solution, but we actually want our enthalpy change. So before we can do that, we need to go from Q of solution into our um, reaction or our solution process. So Q of solution is going to equal negative Q of reaction. Okay, um, so Q of reaction uh, is going to equal the opposite. So 16.2.93 joules. Okay, um, and delta H of reaction is equal to Q of reaction. So our delta H of reaction is going to equal 1600 joules. Okay, um, and so notice, guys, I've included my delta H of reaction relationship to Q of reaction. I've included, included my Q of solution is equal to negative Q of reaction relationship. Um, and I've obviously uh, tracked my units uh, throughout this calculation process. Okay, now um, some of you may be wondering why I didn't round um, at this step. Um, and that's just because of the potential to maybe need to use this value in an additional calculation. Uh, like maybe if they asked for delta H of reaction per gram or something of that sort, um, I would need to use the unrounded value. Okay, um, so this is uh, calorimetry uh, with solutions, part one. Okay, so in this problem here, they told us we have 50 milliliters of one molar hydrochloric acid um, at 21 degrees C that is mixed with 50 milliliters of one molar sodium hydroxide in a coffee cup calorimeter at the same temperature. Okay, and after they mixed, um, the calorimeter temperature changes to 26.5 degrees C. 
um, and they want us to calculate the enthalpy of the reaction. So in this case, guys, once again, we're still doing a Q of solution, right? Uh, a problem in terms of we're figuring out um, information about the surroundings, okay? And then we're going to use it to find information about our um, system, which is the reaction between NaOH and HCl. So we have our uh, mass of our solution times specific heat capacity of our solution times delta T of our solution. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, look at the new assumptions that we're making. Okay, so in this particular case, we're dealing with 50 milliliters um, of the HCl and 50 milliliters of the um, sodium hydroxide. Okay, and in order to figure out or in order to uh, simplify our calculations, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to assume that the density of the HCl and the density of the NaOH um, is basically the same as water. Allow us to simplify our calculation as follows. So what we're going to do is we're going to sum the two volumes together um, of the HCl and the NaOH. Okay, um, and that's going to give us 100 milliliters. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take those 100 milliliters and we're going to convert them into mass. Okay, so we have 100.0 grams as our mass. So our mass of our solution is equal to 100 0 0.0 grams. Okay, now make sure you're showing this work and this work for full credit. Okay, now the next assumption, just like we've made in the past or in the previous example, we're going to assume that the solution has the same specific heat capacity as water. Okay, and then our delta T of our solution is calculated um, as we normally do. Okay, by subtracting the final minus the initial. Um, and that is going to give us... Um, oh, sorry. 5.5 degrees C. Okay, we then are going to plug these variables into our Q of solution. So Q of solution is going to be equal to 100.0 grams times 4.184 um, joules per gram degree Celsius times 5.5 .5 degrees C. Okay, and that is going to give us 2301.2 um, joules. Okay, two sig figs is going to be 2,300 uh, joules um, as our Q of solution. Now remember, we don't really care about our Q of solution because our Q of solution is the surroundings. We want information about our reaction. Okay, so Q of solution equals the negative Q of reaction. Q of reaction equals negative 2,300 joules. Okay, and our delta H of reaction is equal to Q of reaction. We know that. So delta H of reaction, which is what they're asking for, is equal to negative 2300 joules. Okay, and so guys, remember, um, we're showing our work. Um, we're showing our relationships here. And of course, we're giving our final answer. So um, assumptions we made here, um, this whole mass situation. Okay, um, but once again, we're t summing the total of everything that's in the container that becomes part of the solution. Um, in this case, we're using density and the assumption that the density of the dilute solutions um, are going to match up very closely with the density of water. And of course, because the solution is made of mostly water, we're going to use the specific heat capacity of water.